Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Quite recently a number of people have got in touch with me to ask what's the best resources to use to pass the Snow Pro Core Certification Exam and I'm here to help you with that. I've got five key tips, both free resources and a couple of paid resources that you might want to consider to help you pass your Snow Pro Core Certification in just seven days. And don't forget guys, if you get good value from this channel, there's new videos coming weekly. So if you don't want to miss anything, give me a like below, hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified of new content. Before we get into the five key tips, let me just give you a bit of background about the exam itself and we'll move into the exam topics next. So firstly, it's 100 questions and those 100 questions are formed from a mixture of question types. Some are multiple select, some are multiple choice and some are true or false. So on the ones where you have a multiple select, that means that there's more than one correct answer. You really need to make sure that you've, um, you've done your homework and you can weed out those incorrect answers quite quickly. You do have what I think is quite a lot of time though to get through the questions, 115 minutes in total. Two different languages supported at the moment. Your registration fee of 175 USD and don't forget you can do that in person at a test center or virtually from home and your passing score is 750 minimum which is a scale score on basis in where you can score anything from zero to a thousand moving on to the exam topics themselves and how much each domain makes up a part of the certification questions themselves you've got six domains in total covering account and security virtual warehouses their purpose how you configure them the different options around that data movement and best practices the smallest part of the exam is based around performance management of 5 to 10 percent, whilst the most amount of uh, percentage that makes up the certification is around the overview and architecture. And so that's the main piece. Make sure that you un understand the architecture really well, the free tier architecture. And I'll mention uh, in a moment some of the things that will help you with that. And then finally, storage and protection, making sure that you understand how data is stored in micro partitions and how that helps performance and also the protection that Snowflake offers. So my first of the five tips is my YouTube channel that you're watching this video on right now. I post new videos weekly. There's a lot of content here that relates to the Snowflake course certification exam, certainly the Understand and Snowflake Data Warehouse for Beginners. And then if you move through the other videos in that playlist around the Snowflake tutorials, that will really help give you short, sharp uh, advice my next tip is the free material that Snowflake provides via its Snowflake University service. This has a range of offerings and different basic courses, mainly called hands-on essentials, hands-on sharing, hands-on data application. This hands-on essential workshop series gives you a badge at the end of it, but it's a really good place to start if you're brand new to Snowflake and you can work through a mixture of videos and tutorials. It's all online and self-paced and it covers a range of topics in line uh, with what you will get asked for the Snow Pro course certification. You can also sign up for the Snow, Snowflake trial um, which is totally free and you don't need to put any credit card details in just to get the 30 day trial. Um, you pop your name and your email address into there, pick your country and you also get to choose the three different editions that are made available to you, Standard Enterprise or Business Critical as well as what cloud service provider you want to run your platform on. Uh, you click get started and it, you will get your uh, URL to your own personal trial instance for 30 days. Tip number three is from Servian and from a guy called Yano Yama. He posted this um, quite a while ago now, back in February 2020. So some of the information may be a little bit out of date now, but this is an excellent article and I really want to highlight it to you because it gives you these cheat sheets that Yano's put together and they're very useful. Like I say, there might be one or two things that have moved on because Snowflake are releasing new features all of the time. I'll pop a link in the video description below so you can get access to this. But again, totally free resource. It'll really help you um, just revise and, and get the, the basics and fundamentals of Snowflake uh, clear in your head ahead of doing a certification. Tip number four is our very own Snow Pro Call certification guide, completely free PDF available to you. It's 38 slides in total, and we cover each one of the sections covered by the certification and a little bit more as well. And we provide links to the relevant uh, YouTube videos on the channel as well, as well as information. So if you want to get that, there's a link below. 
So again, a completely free resource. If you, I'll pop the link below, but it's snowpro.adamorton.com.au forward slash snowpro. We'll take you to this page, just pop your name and email address in there and click the button and we will automatically email you that PDF. So that's tip number four on our free Snowpro certification guide. And last but not least, our final tip um, for you guys today is a paid uh, resource on Udemy. Um, there's a number of uh, Snowflake practice questions, courses out there, um, and I'm sure there's a lot of them that are, are really, really good. This is the one that we've put together. We've helped over 2,000 students go through this course. And um, I'm also going to give you guys a discount code, which I'll pop below in the description as well. That will give you a discount as well if you need one for Udemy to, to redeem the course. Um, but you've got six practice tests here, which randomize a, a bunch of questions, which are based around uh, the Snowpro Core exam. I would say if you can um, score over 85% on a consistent basis across all practice tests, along with those other free resources, you should be able to pass the Snowpro certification test within seven days yourself. And if you've got any of the resources that you use, which you thought were really valuable, please, Pop a link in the comments below, uh, help the community out and let people know where they are. I'd be really interested to see what else you've, you've used and what helped you as well. And don't forget guys, please hit a like if you found this useful and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new content coming weekly.